if you're so inclined to stick around, we'll do a little Q and A on to all your questions. There's a couple of good questions I need to get to. Like some people talking about how they're way underwater. So if you got to take off, take off. It's been 23 minutes. I appreciate you being here. Uh, if the take off, thank you so much. Like, and subscribe. Now let's get into a little Q and A and we'll go from there. Thanks everybody. So let's see. The first things first I had put here under the comments, some starred comments, rusty bot. Rob, I got a question and it's really damn important. Okay, Rusty, let's hear what it is. I'd love to hear these questions. Satoshi Nakamoto. I don't know if you know this guy. He's kind of famous. He says, don't trust, verify. That's very true. Very true, Satoshi. Very true. Uh, Jarky is not a tourist. So says Beardy. And he is correct. Jarky is uh, one of the OGs here on the channel. Likes to give away memberships all the time. Really great guy. Let's see. Jeff. Brandon's in Florida, construction site checking in. Jeff, you need to. I know it's cold over there now. No, Daddy. I have a finger painting for my kids. David, this is the one. David says, we're all going broke, but Dan says it's how you look at things. It's true. So <clears throat> it was the same thing with me in 2018. Like I looked at, I thought I was a genius in 2017. I bought, I bought Bitcoin and only, ah, what was it? At 8,500, then 12,000, then 17,000. I'm like, I'm a genius because this is going to a million. Then in 2018, I'm like, wow, I just lost everything just about. However, and that was on everything. That was Bitcoin, Ethereum, Cardano. I mean, all the stuff, wacky things that I was buying too. And I was like, well, I could sell everything, get out. Then I lose, but, or I could just hold on to it, wait till the next bull run. And that's pretty much what happened. So right now, like, it's the same thing with real estate. If, think, okay, think of your house. This, this is the better way to look at it. Your house is going to go down in value the next 12 to 18 months. Just a fact. So once the value of your house goes down, unless you're in, I don't know, like prime real estate on the coast of Florida or in Puerto Rico or someplace or in like United Arab Emirates, okay? The majority of people's values of the house is going to go down. Do you look at that and go, man, I'm going broke because the value of my house goes down? Or do you think to yourself, I'm going to have this for a long time and I'll probably just sell as the price goes up if I ever sell at all because it is an asset that I'm going to use and actually, I can borrow against it. It doesn't matter. So it's the same thing here with your houses. If you look at your investments and go, I'm down big time. I need to sell. Yes, then you are down. If you look at other things like, hey, I'm down right now. I'm going to hold on to this until things become positive. Maybe get into the game a little bit more going on the road. It's, a, it's all how you look at it. That's how it is. Golfer says, I'm a fractional owner of everything I own. The wife is a majority owner. That's very true for all of us. <laughs> And Elmer says, I'm waiting for Bitcoin to go down all the way to 10 grand so I can buy another whole Bitcoin. Elmer, I'm going to warn you, uh, you can do that. But um, actually, you know what? Yeah, you can do that. Go ahead and do that. I'm just saying that at some point, maybe it hits like 11,000 and then drops, then goes up again. That always sucks when you're like, damn it, just a thousand bucks off or 10,500. You just miss it. It's all what you want to do. All right. Yeah. Unless you're selling your house, the value means less property taxes. It's actually a really good point. Let's see. Vicky. Uh, thank you, sir. <laughs> Jarky, I think what's going to work out pretty well for us is if we do the uh, Twitter spaces. Then you can just talk to me. Oh, old bear. Rob, did you see the latest Voyager email? I did. I just didn't get a chance to read it. They gave a date for expected fun release and a new voting opportunity for Voyager account holders. Let's just take a poll right now. Who wants to sell to Binance and get your funds out? Who here wants to wait for a super great offer to come out the pipe? Just curious. I'm not going to make fun of you. I mean, you guys got to tell me why. So, Old Bear, tell us what the expected fun release date. That's interesting. That's really interesting. Really, really. Let's see. <laughs> Rob, I'm all in crypto. Should I diversify and buy fractionalized shares in Beardy's Beard? I don't think that has much value except for Beardy's wife, I'm saying, I'm guessing. Yeah, everybody saw Chloe walking around. Yeah, I do love the sunshine. It's great. That's why, that's why I moved to Puerto Rico. This, this weather is awesome. I feel for you, everybody throughout the world who are getting crushed right now in uh, the cold weather. It does suck. Let's see. Brassy, didn't we talk about this yesterday? 
what does capitulation exactly mean? Who can capitulate? Minor, price, people. Is it like selling the bottom and not buying again? Capitulation can mean anything. I mean, really what it means is you're just giving up. You're just saying, okay, I'm going to throw in the towel. Does that mean, and it means different things to different people. To me, as far as like minor capitulation, it's one of two things. It's, First of all, they're all going to, they, they capitulate, meaning they shut their mining, their mine, their Bitcoin miners off because it's too expensive to leave them on. The second thing, as far as capitulation could mean is that they're selling all their Bitcoin and or they're selling their Bitcoin miners. So that would be that. As far as like investors, capitulation means I'm stopped, I'm done, that's it. And that can mean I'm not going to dollar cost average, I'm not going to buy anything else, or it could mean that I am not going to buy anything else, I've stopped everything and I've sold everything, I've capitulated. And that's just pretty much what it is. I, I could have sworn we talked about this yesterday. Uh, is Masterwork for US only? No, I believe that uh, outside you can still get Masterworks. However, you have to talk to those guys uh, over there. Like I had to talk, I couldn't just invest into them. I'm like, I was like, you know, can I just, you know, put money in? Like, no, you have to talk to us because some of the, it's not going to make sense for us to recommend this or that if we don't know what your, what your status is right now or, you know, what your goals are. And I, I talked to them, they're like, your goals are different than everybody else's out there. So this is what we recommend. And that's it. Questions for Rob, how many Bitcoins mined to date? I think we're looking at 19 and a half million. And what will Bitcoin, and when will all Bitcoins be mined? I want to say it's either 2140 or 2040. I always get the, <laughs> I'm only off like a hundred years. I know it's a long, it's a long ways away. We'll say, right? So what happens after that? Well, somebody has to secure the network in some way, shape, or form. Remember, Bitcoin miners, they also get uh, uh, not just mining fees, but when they when they mine uh, the actual Bitcoin, of course, they mine it, they get it. However, for any, every kind of transaction, there's also the fees per transaction. Now, how much will that be in the future? I don't know. But I can tell you that in 2018, when we thought that, that Bitcoin is going to be the ultimate cryptocurrency, sorry, sorry, 2017, when we thought that Bitcoin is going to be the ultimate currency, we figured out that, holy smokes, it's super expensive to send any kind of Bitcoin. And that would just go to the Bitcoin miners because they were the ones that were, you know, securing the, uh, the network. So let me see here. I think there is a chart. Bitcoin. Transaction. There it is. And uh, ba, 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 ba. Ah. let's see. Holy smokes. Let me, well, you can't see what I'm seeing, can you? There you go. Sorry about that. So let's say here, let's remove Bitcoin Satoshi's vision because come on, dashboard or dash. Bitcoin Cash, XRP. Oh, damn it. This is transactions. That's what I'm looking for. Hold on. There we go. Holy smokes. Huh. It was high even back then. Or in uh, April 2021, let's go for all time. Yeah. So again, back in the day, <clears throat> you can see up here on July 22nd, 2011, to send Bitcoin any amount across the world cost you two cents. Okay, that makes sense. But as the network gets congested during all time highs, highs on December 22nd, 2017, the average transaction fee was 55 bucks. And then over here, I don't know, is this high? $62 on April 2021. And of course, people will say, well, Rob, the Lightning Network. The Lightning Network, Rob. Okay, great. Well, let's hope it catches up because right now it's pretty ridiculous. So that's all we got. Hope I answered that question. Meme? I <laughs> have fun keeping my money. That's right. Benny. Benny's the one that Notify me that I had a blue check mark now on Twitter. I'm pretty ecstatic about that. Whoa, look at this. Bicky says, I had a chance to buy a small Andy Warhol when he was still alive, but I couldn't get myself to spend the 17K when I was young. Every time the chance, the opportunity I had to buy 500 Bitcoins for 500 bucks in 2012, it's a good story. I'll tell you sometime. 
Obviously, he didn't do it. <laughs> Rob, how's the knee and back? Knee and back are fine. You're actually in the next to top gun volleyball scene. Yes, everything's good. Uh, that's why God created uh, beer and sofa and uh, muscle relaxers. Not all together, of course. Uh, thanks, Yaku. Yaku, I try. I do try. Tom just came from Wendy's. Tom who? Tom Crown, that bum. No, I was kidding. Tom Crown's, you guys should watch Tom Crown. He's just, he's like us. You know, he just, um, he has reasonable expectations. He puts out reasonable information. And it's um, it's easy to understand because I'm not smart. And I need, I need people like Tom to help me. <laughs> this is true. Hey, Efrain, if you guys need a real estate agent, there he is. It's a good picture. Hey, Tom. Beardy's giving up wrenches, which I think we do need another round of wrenches to, to come through. Let's be honest. I think we're getting a little wrench light. Uh, I'm on the block list. No, you're not. Merry Christmas, everybody. I forgot to say that. Merry Christmas. Oh, Top Gun is now streaming on Paramount. That's pretty good. I've already seen it twice in the movie theaters. Loved it. Cannabis and beer. You know what's great about Puerto Rico? Marijuana is legal. <laughs> You're a bum rock. <laughs> Beer and opioids are not a great combo. That'll that'll kill you. Let's see. And that's it. All right, everybody. So I think we're good to go today. And I'm oh, there's an update. I forgot to talk to you guys about this. I gotta go though. I got a meeting. So let's be honest. We could all be in better shape. Am I wrong? Is everybody, is anybody in pristine shape, like eight pack abs and just rippling muscles everywhere? Probably not. So the New, New Year's resolution is coming up and let's be honest, we all fail. Here's what I want to do. I'm going to reach out to some of the people in the crypto community with businesses like the Ledgers, the Arculuses, the Unstoppable Domains. And we're going to do through Sweatcoin. You're going to download the app. The top 30 people to beat me, 30 people to beat me are going to receive some type of something, whether that be an, uh, an unstoppable domain, whether that be a ledger, whether that be uh, a stone book or a shield folio or something like that. I need you guys to come with me to get in shape because I can't do it by myself. So we're going to do this together and you're just going to download the app. It's free and you're going to win stuff just for walking around. That's it. All right, everybody, I got to go. So thanks so much for stopping by. I do appreciate it. If you like today's video, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. Not that YouTube's going to notify you, but maybe. But that's it for today. Thanks so much. I appreciate every one of you, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Adios. Oh, yeah, don't forget to check out that uh, the video we did with uh, with uh, Mr. Soklitsky from uh, uh, Masterworks. Link is in the description. I also put it in the comments right now. See you guys. Bye.